Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect and today I'm going to share with you one amazing trick to make automatic color correction tremendously better and accurate. Here's what you need to do. So usually when we want to remove color casts or do a little bit of color correction automatically, we create a simple curves adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer icon and then choosing curves. And then if you just simply press the auto button, it wouldn't do much. It will just enhance the contrast a little bit and the brightness. We don't want that. However, there are other automatic options as well. If you just simply, first of all, let's reset this. If you just simply click on this grid right there, if you go to auto options, there are a lot of options right there. The first one, second one, third one, fourth one, which is enhance brightness and contrast. This is actually the default when we click that auto button. If you want to set any other option as default, which is find dark and light colors, so it will find dark and light colors, set them according to these three and that will be it. It is a little better. So let's set this as a default. So if you check save as defaults and hit OK. Now this time, let's reset that again. Now this time when you hit the auto button, that auto option will trigger. But this is not enough. There's still a green color cast on the face and a little bit on the wall here and there. So instead of just hitting the auto button after creating the curves adjustment layer, why don't we Tell Photoshop, hey Photoshop, I just want you to focus on this area, this particular area for automatic color correction. So I don't want to mess up the skin, right? I don't want to mess up the skin right there on his arms as well. So why don't we tell Photoshop to sample from this particular area, right? Which has the most color cast and the least color in itself. Here is how you do it. So let's delete the curves adjustment layer. If you want Photoshop to focus one area for automatic color correction, for it to extract data from, let's select any of the selection tools like rectangular marquee tool right there. Let's select that and then let's select this particular area where we want it to extract data from. This is all right. Now, when you create a curves adjustment layer with this selection active, so if you click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves, it will show up with that area as a mask and only that area is being calculated right there. Now, if you hit auto, it's going to do a much better automatic color correction. Let's click on that one. However, you might think, but it just color corrected that particular area. No problem at all. You can either delete the mask or turn it white completely again. So let's delete it. Let's click it and drag it to the trash can. Delete layer mask. Yes, we want to delete it and have a look. It's much better than completely treating the image. Let's compare this result with the previous ordinary approach. So if we close this, if we just turn this off and if we create one more curves adjustment layer, this time we are not focusing on an area. If I just simply click on auto, have a look at this result and compare it with this result. Have a look. It's so much better, isn't it? Now to make the results even better, first of all, let's delete this. This was unnecessary. Let's go to the curves. This just gives you a good starting point. Now I want more red on the skin. Let's go to the red channel. Click on this drop down. Let's go to the red with the help of the hand right there. Just click and drag it up to increase the reds. There you go. That's it. We want more magenta on the skin as well. So let's go to the green channel. Now we want to decrease the green because green is the opposite of magenta. Click and drag it down. That's it just that and have a look at the adjustment right there. Here's the before, here's the after. That was easy, wasn't it? So all you got to do, if you want Photoshop to focus on one area for calculating automatic adjustments, just select that area and then create a curves adjustment layer and then hit auto. So that's all my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.